Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear here today with a look at the new White Dwarf. This is issue 123. That's right, 1 and 2, 3. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Dated 4th of June 2016. And it's um, it's another good issue. You know, uh, we've seen a couple of bad ones here recently, but this is a good one. It's got a really great paint spotter in here. Hall of Fames, Parade Grounds, uh, uh, actually two Parade Grounds because there's a whole feature on a Mechanicus army in here, kind of like a, a war or war con kind of thing. But then it also gets into the rules on the new armored containers right here, as well as the great paint splatters on Pagan Tyranids and also doing the uh, new bases that came out, the um, Sector Imperialis bases. So let's jump right into it. Obviously, these are the two new releases for this week, Tune and Brew Lord in the Tech Priest engines here. Then, of course, we've got the armored containers coming out where you get three sprues that you can make uh, three of the new, what is it, uh, the armored cache, I believe it's called. And that will actually get you, um, for 40 points, it's actually not that bad as far as, you know, things go. Um, because the, you got the Promethean uh, pipes here that give you a little bonus when you're, you know, you can change your weapon type and do some torn action. Uh, you can get some bonuses out of these crates as well. And then this, uh, I, you know, these things are a little bit different. They have a toughness value instead of uh, armor value, which is really interesting because they are an armored container, basically exactly the same as a Rhino or perhaps a Dreadnought. <laughs> if you've listened to our uh, The Long War podcast this week, uh, well, we had an inter it, we had lots of entertaining things to say about it. So in the back of my mind, I almost wonder if Games Workshop is going to unclunkify 40k, so to speak, by like basically making, uh, get, going away with armor values. I mean, it'd be easy to do, and we talked about it, you know, ad nauseum, you know, um, I think at least 20 minutes on that show. Then, of course, we talked about it a lot on the webcast as well. Uh, earlier that that night, so there's a, a lot of things that you said, and a lot of interesting theories, and a lot of um, ways you could actually change the rules. And we talked about that on on the webcast, but I'm not really going to get into it here. Uh, like I said, the paint splatter article right here, boom. Uh, here's some ways to paint, you know, the the new tiles or excuse me, the new bases in some really exciting color schemes. Now, I'm going to throw this caveat out here. If you haven't seen my unboxing yet of the new bases themselves, well. There's some pros and there's some cons. The pros being, of course, they're they're a great affordable way to rebase your army. Uh, they're way better than the normal, you know, plastic uh, bases that come with the models. However, this is not the quality of the bases that you get in the kit. The the, the detail on here is crisp. I don't know if these were, you know, the the pre copies that they gave the, the heavy metal team to paint off, um, or the review copies. But what you get in the box, that from what I've seen is of a subpar quality uh, detail wise compared to here like these little skulls they look mushed um, this stuff here is not that crisp detail these these eagles definitely not that crisp detail so it's a little you know it's a little uh, dis disparaging to see that however like I said you know if you're if you're not if you're just trying to rebase your army trying to pick some stuff up on the cheap it's a great way to go about it um, you know because they're about 55 cents a base and that's really good for rebasing armies however there's going to be some folks out there, I feel like, that are going to, you know, um, put a lot of time and effort into their models, and they're not going to want to put their highly detailed crisp models on something like this uh, that's subpar, and then paint that, you know, that's a, of a subpar detail, I feel like. It is a subpar quality. Uh, it says right on the box there, are made in China, made and manufactured and distributed um, from China. So it's not the normal multi-part plastic uh, quality, higher quality than I guess we're used to. I'm not sure. Games Workshop didn't know. They either didn't know or they didn't care. That's basically what it boils down to. So I'm sure, you know, there'll be plenty next week. Uh, lots of people talking about that. But for now, we're talking about the paint splatter. So here's a great one on Tyranids right here. We hadn't seen some of this alternate purples and these alternate reds before. Actually, I think we've seen the purples, maybe not the reds. But either way, it's a, it's a very good, um, uh, guide here if you're trying to do some of that stuff there now also the Nurgle demon prince um, He's kind of interesting because this was originally a pewter mall kicked over to fine cast You can still get them great great miniature came out about 2006. So it's about two uh, ten years old now And then we've got the feature on the flesh's week also in here Which is kind of like a little war com not but not really, you know, you always see a Titan in uh Ad Mac Army, you're like, oh, it's Warcom, but not, not necessarily. <laughs> um, looks great, obviously. And then we get to the back. Oh, I wanted to show you that data sheet just for some of you folks out there that might be picking this up for that. It is the data sheet. It's a full-on data sheet. This wasn't in the rules that come in the box, 
or at least that we've seen uh, leaked, you know, from that eBay, uh, people that had them up on eBay. But this is basically the data sheet, the full-on data sheet um, with all the rules, not just like the little one-page insert that comes in the box. So it's laid out a little bit better. Who knows if we'll see this in the reprint of, you know, like uh, the Stronghold Assault uh, terrain uh, book. It's really hard to say, right? So there's that. Um, then you get to the back and we've got a really exciting teaser, which a lot of folks are saying might be the Lost Patrol, which is supposedly coming out next week. But uh, some of the folks that have already gotten press copies of the Lost Patrol have not seen this anywhere in the, the actual, um, uh, I guess, kit itself. There's no Antonius in there, there's nothing like that. So unless there's like a narrative story that's perhaps going to be in the White Dwarf, um, well, then, <laughs> uh, looks like that may not be the case. Who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll find out, I'm sure, when we start seeing the White Dwarf early next week uh, from all the various sources out there uh, across the world. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some pretty good features in here. Um, for the most part, it's definitely one worth picking up for the paint splatter, you know, between the Tyranians and uh, the new basing stuff right here. Um, you know, as far as everything else goes in here, and of course you got rules, so I mean, at the, it, for the four bucks or so, it's probably not like a, you know, definitely not a waste this week, and not like some of the, the filler issues that we've uh, that we've seen in the past here. So that's about it for this one, folks. Uh, hope everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend or Bank Holiday weekend here in the states. So uh, we'll get back on track here uh, next week. This week I actually got the White Dwarf Visions as well. Now this is the once a month kind of deal. It's on issue 29. So it's been out, um, you know, for at least two years now plus. I think it transitioned in that February of, I want to say, two years ago when they first started going to the one week format with the normal White Dwarf. So the Warhammer Visions, it's it's a great book. I mean, this is a coffee sized kind of book. Comes out once a month. I'm actually surprised I haven't picked it up before. But I picked it up because I was I was flipping through it, and there's some really great features in here. Um, first off, you got the normal uh, Silver Tower stuff, some like Renegade stuff. Uh, that really dope Nurgle army, uh, Maxime, I believe, over in France. We featured uh, the Lord of uh, Lord of Skulls, the Nurgle Lord of Skulls, back on Spiky Bits a while back. Um, that they did. The Battle for Fall, which uh, which was like the fall engagement, you know, uh, where the Iron Warriors were fighting the Imperial Fists, and it was a big spaceborne battle, and they took the con uh, Contrador, and which was the Iron Warriors flagship at the time, I stole it, and then basically jumped to Terra with it at the end when the Rogaldorn finally got through with their message. But they had that huge forgeral display board from a few years ago uh, showcased in here as well. So this is a really great book. Like it's it, it's all sorts of showcase things. So first up, they show you know the Silver Tower stuff. I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful book. Like, no, it's got different editions of the language. They only had to put one out and they ship it kind of everywhere kind of deal. So you're not, you're not necessarily all of this is content. It's just different versions. But I mean, as far as having this in your hands and looking at it, uh, it's pretty spectacular. And they go over the stuff that came out the month before. So like basically, you know, the, the Death from the Sky stuff and then of course the Silver Tower stuff. Um, so it's always kind of like a month in arrears, so to speak. And then there's this huge fold out here of the uh, Death from the skies so it's it's kind of a month in arrears but the cool thing is it's got all these features you know because if they came out at the beginning of the month they would showcase all the stuff for the month and of course we would know exactly what's coming out which they still do sometimes but um not this time so it showcases all this stuff you know the terror geist you know some warhammer fantasy slash age of sigmar the renegade box you know that came out the huge war well, forge world titan that just came out with all the new pieces here today actually um, so there's all those new pieces that are available and then of course the Thousand Sun stuff and a couple other choice things and then here's the Army of the Month by Maxime and man there's that Lord of Skulls we featured I mean it's just an incredible incredible army like all converted he had plague bears with like jump uh, assault troop like uh, torsos and you know just the amount of work he did on this like if you see the pictures of the actual conversion itself it's spectacular and then you know he's got all this stuff just everything converted up the Skaven um, what is it the uh, uh, where is he figured he was in here the vermin lord guy there he is the vermin lord oh man such an awesome conversion and he took parts you know from the blight drones so just really cool looking stuff here you know made that from a bunch of different spare parts with the rest of the blight drones uh there's the plague drones and then it gets into uh some actual terrain and such here 
for Age of Sigmar. So really cool looking stuff just in general. Another showcase on some Ravenwing. It gets into Age of Sigmar. You know, so there's because I, I mean I would assume this month we're gonna get some sort of Age of Sigmar rulebook release, and then it gets into the White Dwarf entries, I believe. Yep, the Golden Demon rather uh, from earlier in the year. They did the singles, I think. I want to say this one was the tanks. I forget. Uh, it's hard to keep track of everything. Or maybe it was squads. But this is basically, yeah, this is the stuff from like back in February. I think this was one that won there. Um, so really cool looking stuff in here. I mean, this is just something cool that you just keep on a coffee table and just like check it out, you know. And, uh, you know, you can just kind of flip through it while you're watching TV or whatever and get some inspiration because some hobby inspiration because they don't really do the catalogs anymore. Um, and then another big army there for uh, Age of Sigmar. So, oh, and here's the one feature I wanted to show you. The Battle for Fall table. Um, there you can kind of see the taking of the Contrador. Of course, the Iron Warriors flagship, and then you got all the all the cool looking um, Iron Warriors versus Imperial Fist right there, and then more of it where they used uh, the Zoom Mortalis tiles to, and some of the stuff from the boards that they eventually created uh, to really make that big uh, kind of scene. You know, the inside of the ship, you know, just the one section of the whole ship, and then you can see where it's got the you know defense lasers and things all shooting out, guys jumping out of the uh, the sewer or the uh, you know waste. Uh, um, tubes and things like that and there you can see they're battling for power generators in different spots and dudes tore apart it's a command and control center it's the power supply center so just a really really cool diorama that I really dug and in the back Games Workshop you know they're gonna put all their store listings in here so if you ever need to find a G-Dub store specifically G-Dub store well here, here, here's an easy way to do it otherwise you can get online and check for all the independents around in your area as well as the Games Workshop stores themselves so there is uh, Warhammer Visions uh, issue 29. So maybe at the top of each month, I'll pick this up and you know we'll kind of slide it in with the uh, the white dwarf and kind of do like a uh, a little combo kind of deal, you know, from here on in. Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post game wrap up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on the longward.net. Visit the longward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. The longward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.